All right, hey guys, we're doing a new video on refining gold-filled pocket watches. So I purchased these off eBay. Uh, these are pretty expensive. Compared to the other videos I did, these, these aren't cheap. So a lot of these auctions you see, you're gonna spend a considerable amount of money. So a little bit about these gold-filled pocket watches. They were pretty much invented by someone called, uh, I believe it was J. Boss back in the mid 1800s. And what it actually is, is it's a piece of brass that's sandwiched, that has gold sandwiched on each side of it. And it was heated up in a pressure oven and then it was rolled out into really, really thin sections. So if you look at the inside of a lot of these, it'll actually say like JB, uh, which is J Boss's initials, or it'll say J Boss, uh, things like that. He was pretty much the person that first came up with the idea on how to make gold filled pocket watches. Uh, also, if you look at a lot of these, let me find one right here. Let me see if this one has it. Let me zoom in a little bit. You will see right here, it says guaranteed 20 years. They uh, only did this up until the, the late 1920s. Basically after the late 1920s, a lot of the manufacturers, they stopped putting it on there because they weren't standing behind their guarantee. And what this guarantee actually meant is that there is enough gold material on here to last you 20 years of uh, wear and tear. So it's surprising, I didn't realize that at first. So that means all these that say guaranteed 10 years, guaranteed 20 years, guaranteed whatever it says, they're all from before the, the mid 1920s. So it's amazing how old some of these things actually are. After the 1920s, they no longer put that on it. So I found that to be pretty fascinating. From my calculations, these should have a pretty good yield. Uh, you know, in the previous videos, I've done uh, gold-filled watch band tops. This should be a substantial increase over that. Uh, and this is a pretty good amount. So what we have here, let me zoom in on my little, my little notes, my little chicken scratch notes. So what we have here, I weighed everything out and I have 370 grams of gold filled pocket watches. So at uh, 3.5 milliliters per gram of nitric, that's how much nitric acid we're gonna need. We're gonna need approximately 1,295 milliliters of nitric acid to refine these gold filled watch cases. So I pretty much, this is a shot out of the dark. This, this number really came from nowhere. I'm just taking a wild guess. I'm estimating for every 100 grams of gold-filled pocket watch material, I'm gonna get 2.5 grams of gold. So that's just a pretty much a, a wild estimate as to what I'm gonna get is uh, 2.5 grams per 100 grams. So I figured I am doing 370 grams. Uh, I'm gonna be getting around nine and a quarter grams of pure gold. Like I said, that, that number is pretty much just a a shot in the dark. There really is no rhyme or reason. It's just that's what I felt comfortable with getting. Uh, so we should get a pretty good yield. This actually, this will be my best video ever on gold filled material because this should really come out really, really nice. And now the, the beautiful part about this is compared to doing those watch bands and things like that, this is an absolute breeze as far as preparation uh, compared to what I'm used to. So what I've been doing is I have been taking these cases just like this. I'm actually twisting the lid off here. Then there's a little steel pin right there. I'm removing that little steel pin. And then the only other thing that I'm really doing is this crown on top. Let me grab my little, my little cutters is you're actually gonna take your cutters and you're gonna kinda 
very carefully, you're gonna peel off the gold filled material from that crown. Of course, this one is gonna be a, a hard one. There we go, I got it. Perfect. So that is the gold filled material from the crown. We're gonna keep this, because this has gold in it. And now, the top part here, this is stainless steel. We don't want that, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna carefully pry that out. And then if you look in here also, let me try to zoom in as good as I can. You see that little stainless steel pin? I'm gonna basically pry that out also. Bam. Just, whoops, it went flying, but just like that. It was basically just a little, let me show you another one. It was a little pin like this, and this is stainless steel, so you wanna get rid of that. You wanna basically, uh, that's all there really is to disassembling these. So you can go through these in just a matter of minutes compared to what I'm used to. And this material is relatively clean. This should really produce a really nice quality uh, gold. Once I'm done cleaning these up, I'm gonna put them in my little melt dish over there. And then I'm gonna put it in my oven. And we are gonna cook this for about an hour at 1050 degrees. So I'm gonna keep separating these. Um, I don't need to videotape that. I'm gonna cook these guys, and then when they're all ready, I'm gonna show you where we're at, and then we're gonna throw these in some hot dilute nitric acid. All right, thank you very much. As I was going through these, I noticed something on a lot of them, on almost all of them. Once you pull out the stainless steel pin uh, and the crown, if you look in here, it's gonna be hard to see in the video, but when you have it in front of you, it'll be easier to see. When you look in here, there's like a little, a little stainless steel ring or something. Let me try to, let me try to pull this out to show you. It's hard to grab, but yeah, there we go. And this is in almost every one of these. And I've never seen, oops, just broke part of it. I've never seen this in the other videos before. You know, I try to watch other people's videos to get as much input as you really can. So when you go ahead and do these, you have a great outcome. Because these weren't cheap. Like I said, I think I spent a, a pretty, pretty hefty chunk of money on these. Well, it's coming out in pieces, but you can see, if I can zoom in, it's like a stainless steel ring. So I'm gonna work on cleaning that out of these, uh, these also before we refine them because that'll really help clean things up there. You can see it in there. You see the shiny stainless steel? And at first I thought, that's just a fluke. It's just one of them. But uh, it was in almost every single one of them. When you look at them up close, you can you can see it. So. I'm gonna keep on going through them. And just look at this, I'm not used to this. This is such a hefty amount of material. This is gonna really be a good batch for me. This is gonna be my absolute largest batch I've ever done. So it's a little intimidating because I've just never done anything of this size yet. 
So I'll be back. All right, this is what we got. And we're gonna put it in the oven.